Okay, these are two red wiggler worms. This one is a breeder size. It's about four inches long here in my hand. He's trying to co coil up on me. Um, as you can see right there, there's just a little bit of a lighter area right here on the worm, and that's his clotillium, and that is what he uses to exchange fluids with another breeder size worm so they can breed. Um, red wiggler worms are, um, they are, they have both male and female sex organs, so it just takes another breeder size worm for them to breed. And then this right over here, if you can see it, is a baby red wiggler worm. That's how big they are. They're very, very tiny when they're first born. Um, while I'm showing you this, I don't want you to do what I'm doing right now, and that is don't um, handle your red wiggler worms on your bare hands. Um, they tend to die if they're handled too long on your hands from the oil on your hands. They're not able to breathe with the oil on your hands um, through their skin, so they will suffocate. So it's best to handle a red wiggler worm um, with gloves on or with really dirty hands. That's why my hands are kind of dirty.